It's hot work up there on the roof. You want to get it done and get down fast. Roofing and Sheet Metal Centre supply all your roofing needs. No need to shop around. All made with Aussie Colourbond Steel. rscentre.com.au We're joined now by Tom Dabernick at Lindsay Park. Morning to you, Tom. Good morning, Andrew. Uh, busy morning, so thanks for your time. Interested about Finance Tycoon in this Million dollar showdown for Vobus on Saturday at Caulfield. A gap between runs, but obviously continues to please you. Yeah, he's in great shape, and uh, we uh, contemplated going to the Golden Slipper, and we just felt he'd had a busy time uh, with the trip to the Gold Coast and running in the Magic Millions. He ran very well in the Blue Diamond, and we thought that this just gave us a bit of time to uh, uh, give him an easy couple of weeks after the Blue Diamond. And being um, uh, restricted to Victorian size only and a million dollars, we thought it's a race we should target. Yeah, by Ritten Tycoon, as we know, this two-year-old Colt. Um, recently went to Wodonga for a little uh, tune-up? Yes, yeah, that just kept his fitness up to the mark and uh, gave him a triple eye and a bit of stimulation and uh, he was good and he had a, uh, a good hit out here yesterday morning and, and worked well in preparation for the race this Saturday. You look at all the form around him, it reads pretty good. You can take it through ingratiating on a couple of occasions, but we know that Artorias and others through the Blue Diamond went to Sydney and run well. So if he can turn up in that form, he's got to be close here, you know, to a few of those uh, horses that people are talking about, like Starry Legend. Yes, exactly. No, his form's been been great, and he's actually run in the, in the uh, Magic Millions. He, he drew a very wide gate, so it was a... Uh, he probably didn't get his best uh, uh, chance. I think if he drew a barrier, he would have, uh, you know, finished closer to the uh, to the place getters. But so he's in good form, and uh, he's a he's a, he's a tough horse and copes well. And and I think he'll run well there this Saturday. Yeah, he's got the quality uh, for sure. If he can run right up to his best, uh, you've got a couple of others there on the weekend. And I know Willie Pike, uh, that, as we reported last week, is coming over and. Teaming up with, I think, Bella Nipotina. Yeah, Bella, she's been racing in great form and, and very consistent, and uh, she'll run in the 3 level 1100. And we just felt that uh, there was an option for her, the Redelva in Adelaide this Saturday, but we've elected to uh, uh, look at the Vibus race, and um, it's worth such good money and in our backyard. So we thought we'd do that. And, and then if she happens to run well this weekend, we can consider possibly, you know, going to Adelaide for um, a Saintster or they uh, run a race after the Saints called the Proud Miss. So there's a couple of nice races for her coming up. And, and Tom, uh, you're right on the bill. I mean, every state has their own breeding scheme, uh, but Vobas for Victoria, the prize money, you can't ignore it Saturday, can you? No, it's a, it's a great race day and each year it seems to be getting stronger and, you know, I think trainers are really targeting it now and, uh, um, you know, we, we don't have a, a big number of runners this Saturday, but we'll have uh, a Toronado Colt, uh, Tremontana, run in the two-year-old. Um, we've got uh, Dark Horse uh, will run in the three-year-old with Bella Nipotina, and then Sosie Bond will run in the mile, um, who's uh, who's been in good form too. And just while I've got you, Tom, uh, 50 stars being slightly forgotten, but still pressing to Sydney and Brisbane? Yes, yeah, he'll come up for Saturday week, the 24th, and, and run in the All Age, and then head to Brisbane and run in the Holland Isle and then um, the Doomman Cup. So he's good. He went to Benelli yesterday for a little jump out and uh, and just for a trip away off the farm, and he's uh, he had a busy time uh, with those uh, backing up three weeks in a row. So we, we thought that we'd uh, keep him on the fresh side, uh, give him a run in Sydney, and then... Uh, go from Sydney up to Queensland. Yeah, I wanted to mention him because people often think, oh, it's an afterthought, but this has been a plan, hasn't it? It has, and uh, I think he'll be, you know, an ideal horse for uh, uh, the winter up in Queensland. Uh, you know, they can get a wet track up there and, and he, he likes those conditions. So, And it, there's, you know, probably two very nice races for him and gives him another opportunity at uh, contesting a Group 1 in the German Cup. We'll look forward to uh, 50 stars on Saturday week. Thanks a lot, Tom. Uh, keep well. Good luck to uh, Finance Tycoon and your other big runners on Vobus Day. Good on you. Thanks, Andrew.
It's not folklore, it's fact that country footy brings local communities and its people together. Visit countryfootyscores.com.au Delivered by Red Energy and TAC. Get your country footy fix and all the latest results at countryfootyscores.com.au